Hello students, in today's lecture we will discuss the theory of marginal productivity of distribution. So for simple, precise and short lecture sessions related to BBA, BCom, MBA, MCom and Economics, do like, share and subscribe my channel. The theory of marginal productivity of distribution was given by J.B. Clark. Uh, in this theory, he explains how the price of various factors of production is decided. As we know that factors of production are mainly the land which receives the rent, labor receives the wages, the capital receives the interest and the entrepreneur receives the profits. And uh, this theory works under perfect competition. The theory is also based on three main concepts that is the marginal physical product that is MPP, value of marginal product VMP and uh, marginal revenue product which is MRP. So we will discuss these concepts in detail. Let's first uh, discuss the concept of marginal physical product which is MPP. As we have already discussed this in laws of variable proportions. The lecture session related to laws of variable proportions is available on my channel. Uh, I will share the link in the description part of um, this video. So MPP is an increase in total product with addition of one more unit of factor of production. So let me explain this uh, with the example. For example, with two labors, the total product is 100 and by adding one more labor that is with three labors the total product is 150 so the marginal physical product that is mpp in this case is 30 when the labor is increased from 2 to 3 so this is what we mean by marginal physical product and next comes the value of marginal product that is vmp uh, which is calculated by multiplying the marginal physical product with the price. Price means the price of the product. And uh, similarly, we can calculate MRP. So MRP is um, when we multiply MPP with MR. So MR is the marginal revenue. And uh, the theory also assume that uh, VMP is equal to MRP. As we have already uh, discussed in the definition part that uh, it is assumed that this theory works under perfect competition. Now let's further discuss this theory uh, through this table. So the first column is the labor, then is the total product, then is the marginal physical product and the fourth column is the value of marginal product that we calculate by multiplying the marginal physical product with the price of product which we have assumed as 5 in this case and the last column is the wage rate. So from this table we conclude that for first three cases the value of marginal product that is VMP is greater than the wage rate and when four laborers are employed the VMP becomes equal to the wage rate and after that the value of marginal product that is VMP starts to decrease. So as per uh, this theory the firm should hire labor till wage rate is equal to the value of marginal product that is wage rate is equal to VMP and at this point the firm gets maximum profits. So I hope now this concept or this theory is clear to you. So this figure explains what we have discussed in the previous table. On y-axis we have the wage rate, the VMP and MPP and on x-axis we have the number of labors. The red shaded region shows the case when VMP is greater than wage rate. And the yellow shaded region shows the case when the wage rate is greater than value of marginal product that is VMP. So this was all in today's lecture session. I hope now this theory is clear to you. Thank you.